Hi everyone. We're going to talk about trust one more time this week and the question I want you to answer is how can you show trust, honesty, or reliability in the sports and activities that you do with your friends or family members. So we're just going to look at the pictures one more time quickly. So here's our first paper here is trust and we have honesty and reliability. Oh, a little crooked. <laughs> so remember we have um, all kinds of sports and activities. We have soccer teams where you rely on one another. So how do you show trust during the activities and hobbies that you do with your family members or friends? Okay, some ideas could be dancing or playing football. Okay, team sports, you have a lot of reliability. So I want you guys to come up with some fun answers. Tell me what activities you do and what, how you show trust or honesty or reliability during those activities. And then our last one here, rock climbing, yay. So I wanna hear your suggestions of activities that you do and how do you show trust and honesty and reliability during those activities? Um, you can send me an email at maryellen.hughes at slcschools.org and that's going to be on the school website. So if you didn't have a chance to write it down, you can find it on the school website. Just look for Mary Ellen Hughes. That's my full name. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> so I have some other fun facts that I want to give you really quick before I go. So here's a fun fact for you. Your nose can remember 50,000 different scents. So that's a lot of power from your nose. <laughs> also, the average person falls asleep in approximately seven minutes. So that's Nine. kind of interesting, huh? All right. We'll talk to you later. See ya.